Okay. Holy cow. Okay, just moved them over. Uh, <laughs> I'm going crazy this morning. They're super hungry. As I am taking away the just one in the background. <laughs> and over here, he's probably looking for food. I put the food out, little one. Scratching around like crazy. Whoop. Oh, that's coming. Oh, nope. That went away. Um, just a minute, Mark. Mark's asking for a bagel bites. It's like, I don't know, 7.30 or something in the morning. <laughs> he just slammed the door. Over here, little one. He found, thinks he found something. Uh, okay, so <clears throat> what I wanted to say today was that luckily, yes, last night, yesterday afternoon, I guess, I was listening to a podcast, and it was about brooding chicks, and I got some good advice from it, because it said after the first, um, they have a hard time regulating their body heat the first 10 days, but these, these chicks are, I'm, you know, I'm going to guess today's Tuesday, and... As I said, they were ship, started to ship on Wednesday, so they're probably exactly like two weeks old now at this point, um, or almost two weeks overnight tonight. So they're almost like, you know, they're 13 days old. So they, what they were saying was that it's a good idea to, you know, decrease, start decreasing the heat because you want them to feather out and then once they're feathered out, you know, they're safe to go outside. So, I did turn the heat off. I actually had the heat on in this room where they're at. I had it like on 80 degrees. So I turned the heat off. And then, of course, they still have their heat. This is a heat hover heater. So they can go under that, <clears throat> excuse me, if they wanted to and get warm. Of course, they're, you can see they're flying on top of it, and as I was getting their feet in here, one of them actually got onto the edge of the cardboard. <clears throat> so I jumped on top of the heater and then got onto the edge, but then fell, basically fell back into the brooder. So I'm glad I have the screens to put on top, or these guys would definitely be trying to get out. So, yeah, now we're just waiting for the feathers. So, and they also said that usually brood them for three to four weeks. So, this is two weeks, so maybe another week, maybe the end of next week, we'll be putting them out in the chicken tractor. So, we still got another week in here, guys and gals. Let's see if we have. I have really prepped for my. Um, interesting chicken fat fact today. Um. <laughs> well, it says here something about Chick-fil-A uh, is not using chicken raised with antibiotics to reduce the spread of antibiotic resistant bacteria, but to be quite honest, I don't think they put a lot of antibiotics in the chicken, but I could be wrong about that. Oh man, they're really kicking up. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> you can really kick, you're really kicking up the, I guess I'm going to have to raise up their water some more, maybe. You know, it won't be a problem once I get it on the grass, so... But now they're really enjoying kicking these wood shavings around. Okay, little ones, that's way long enough. I got to get I get to Mark and probably make him some breakfast, I guess. Alright, bye chickies.